You know, everybody in farming depends on the weather, you know. And it's the same way in the bee business. A large part of our business is pollination of crops. So it's really important to watch the weather. I started keeping bees in 1962 as a boy. By the time I got out of high school, I had probably 250, 300 hives of bees. Something about beekeeping. When you're out there and you got your head stuck in the hive, you know, you forget about the rest of the world. One out of every three bites of food that we eat, relying on honeybees for pollination. We have to get bees to where them crops are when them crops are blooming. And so you gotta bring the bees in from the outside because there's not enough wild insects to pollinate the crop. When January rolls around, the bees gotta be on their way west to cross the United States. So it's really important to watch the weather. I normally turn the weather channel on in the morning. And when you look at the long range forecast, they're giving the weather several days out. It's a good planner for the week. Today, we put 450 hives on a truck and then we'll travel 200 miles west to Bedford, Pennsylvania. So I flip my phone on to see the weather channel. Amazing what you can do with your telephone these days. We run bees in six states. We pollinate almonds in California in February and March. We pollinate some blueberries in Georgia in March and April. We pollinate apples here in Pennsylvania in May. And then we're on to Maine to pollinate blueberries and then by midsummer, we're back in Pennsylvania pollinating pumpkins. And then we produce honey in, in New York State in the summertime. Right now, we're in the midst of moving bees to apple orchards. All the ground's been cold, the trees are staying dormant, so everything is late. Once the bees are in the orchard, we hope the sun shines and the bees can go visit the apple blossoms and set a big crop of apples. For all the good things that make your table look good and taste good, you know, the apples, the almonds, the blueberries, you know, the cherries, our watermelons, you know. If we lost all our bees, they wouldn't be here. So we just keep making bees and making bees and making bees.